Good morning, dear friend. This is Pastor Vince with your daily manna for February 16th. Your word for today comes from Isaiah chapter 14, verse 14, and I'll be reading from the King James Version as well as the Living Bible. The King James Version says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. And the Living Bible says, I will climb to the highest heavens and be like the Most High. Did you know that the war in heaven between God and then called Lucifer was over worship? Yes, Lucifer wanted what was to be given only to Jesus, and that was worship. The Bible says in Isaiah 14 and 14 that we've just read, I will climb to the highest heavens and be like the Most High. And that's uh, quoting Lucifer. Lucifer was eventually kicked out of heaven to earth. It is here that he, now called Satan, continues to battle Christ over worship. You see, Satan wants all the worship that we must give only to Jesus. Satan will use things, people, earthly political systems, and yes, even religious systems to carry out his diabolical plan to be worshiped. So the lesson for us here on earth is that we are caught up in this spiritual battle or controversy between Christ and Satan, and who we worship will have eternal consequences that determine whether we are in heaven or not. We know that God commands us in his first commandment, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And that comes from Exodus 20 and 3. So believe it or not, how we worship is just as important as who or what we worship in these last days when Jesus is about to come. Who will Jesus find us worshiping when he comes back? I recommend that you read this book called The Great Controversy. It's written by author Ellen G. White, and it explains how Satan used individual people, religious, and political systems to literally torture and kill many of God's faithful followers. It's a great lesson in Christian church history, if you will. I want you to marinate on that today, friend, and please join me tomorrow for more of Your Daily Manna. Have a blessed day.